a swim meet in Wilkesbury turned into a show of support for a boy battling cancer. 12 year old Nathan Tyndall hit the water today for the first time since being diagnosed with a brain tumor in 2012. He has undergone two surgeries and radiation treatment. Today's swimmers taking part in the 39th annual St. Patrick's Invitational at the YMCA in Wilkesbury swam for Nathan. Today was our 39th annual St. Patrick's Day swim meet, which we held in honor of a swimmer of ours, Nathan. He was diagnosed two years ago with a brain tumor. They removed the brain tumor and recently it came back. So we had another surgery in January and now he needs to have proton radiation. And so we're trying to help the family raise some extra money for the travel expenses. It was also a big surprise. Nathan had no idea that we were holding this fundraiser for his family. They basically threw this like thing for me where like everybody um, wore these shirts that says I swim for Nathan <clears throat> and it's just amazing because I mean I just feel so awesome I mean it's just indescribable it's awesome. Today was Nathan's first day to get back in the pool and to swim and compete with the team. Most of my times were about a second or two off my best times so you know I'm not as fast as I normally am but I think within a few months I'll be back where I was before. It was hard, but you know, I'm, I'm recovering and I, I'm feeling awesome. Everyone's on my side, because you know, it just is, it's indescribable how lucky I am to be in such a, I just have a really good life, you know? Great perspective. Charlotte's next with sports.